Hello everyone. So in this lecture, I will be this will be the first lecture of your gas dynamics. So in this lecture, I will be discussing the complete syllabus uh, for gas dynamics for gate aerospace. Okay, gate aerospace exam. So what are the important topics and syllabus which uh, we will be following for this lecture series? Okay, I'll be covering all these important topics. So okay, so the I have mentioned these as a sequence. Uh, if you want, you can go through. So this is what I was following. Okay, so okay, this is fine. Yeah. So yeah. So this is what I was uh, what I am having. So typically, if you if you see your gas dynamics covers uh, seven to nine marks for your gate exam. So this is important subjects. So this will be you are forming your base for your jet propulsion. Okay. Jet propulsion again your rocket propulsion. So you must cover these subjects thoroughly. You must be knowing all each and every concept in gas dynamics because this is this is the very important subjects, uh, interesting subjects. I'll say many import uh, many interesting phenomena happens because this is a high speed flow. Okay, so anyway. So if you see, this is what uh, important topic I have mentioned and I will be following all these topics for and I'll, I'll try to make sure that it should not go beyond beyond 20 lectures. OK, and I will also try to keep it as uh, keep it uh, max to max 30 minutes one lecture. So you guys will not get bored. OK, and productivity and the uh, learning the understanding of concepts should be better <laughs> okay so yeah and one more important thing that in this lecture that this is only 20 i'll try to keep it as a 20 lecture right i am saying that uh, i'll i'll not cover as a university exam or university subjects okay so which is not required because we are only our focus is for gate exam right our focus is or for gate exam so will not be focusing as a university syllabus we'll be only focusing on the what are the important topic is required to score good marks in uh, gate exam from the gas dynamic subjects okay as of now so i'll be not going for big big derivation because 100% derivations are not required and derivation what derivation is required i'll tell you and after deri doing derivation or from derivation what are the important uh, uh, equations you are getting that we must keep in mind okay and i'll tell you what formula you need to block or what uh, equations or derivation you need to go through okay so i'll make sure that you at the end of the complete lecture you will be able to you will be in a position to solve every numerical from gate exam or previous year you will be playing with the gas dynamic question in gate exam so i'll make sure that we'll understand each and every concepts and what the formulas are required you must be having your notes okay on your formula sheet okay so what are the derivations what are the formula is required i'll block those formula i'll try to emphasize at, at that time that you must having this formula in your formula sheet so these are the things i hope it is clear and it will help you to cover this gas dynamic subjects quickly and understand more and more in this okay so i'll also suggest that this, this that this is a very interesting subjects so you must cover this for gate exam okay so so the first uh, chapter i have be i am having that fundamental concept, concepts will be dealing with this and then isentropic flow so all these important topics which i have mentioned okay so compressibility speed of sound continuity equation momentum equation energy equation these three equations i'll be just i'll be giving you and i'll be also saying that these two equations are very important for solving numericals and answering many theory questions so beautifully you need not to worry about this that uh, 
this equations are uh, we'll be dealing with integral form of uh, continuity equation or momentum form of uh, sorry differential form of continuity equation no that we are not going to do we will be directly saying the simplified form of continuity equations and how we can apply for normal shock wave and moving normal shock wave and oblique shock waves all those okay and many more and then isentropic flow which is very important and basic for your all the subjects uh, all the topics upcoming uh, isentropic relations then what are the stagnation properties p naught t naught or rho naught okay then velocity or sound area velocity relation again this is very important for nozzle or duct or diffuser again cd duct flow through cd duct area mach number relation maximum for flow mass flow rate characteristic mach number okay all these things we will be beautifully seeing this and what is the significance are all this we will be seeing you need not to worry about this then we have next chapter we are having normal shock wave uh, so normal shock wave again uh, two types of uh, in this two segregates are there that standing normal shock wave and moving normal shock wave so i'm again saying that i'll try to wrap up this uh, gas dynamics in 20 lecture itself i'll not go more than that i'll try to that, do that okay then we have normal shock wave so okay just to give you some idea or flavor that okay yeah normal shock wave is okay so your normal shock wave is your normal shock wave is like this okay normal shock wave this shock wave is like uh, this is very thin shock wave okay and it will be uh, perpendicular to the flow okay so this is 90 degree and this will be forming at a uh, when flow is your supersonic and if you go so the okay so fine fine yeah then third chapter is your oblique shock wave this is nothing but your normal shock wave was, was perpendicular but in this case no, oblique shock wave will be inclined at some angle okay so this is your shock angle so okay so this important topic you need not to worry about this i will be beautifully explaining all these topics so that you will understand this and at the end you will be solving many questions then all these topics are okay detached shock wave is again one kind of uh, interesting phenomena when you have a this kind of blunt body you will find generally uh, in the space vehicle which are re-entering to the earth atmosphere when your incoming mach number or this velo uh, vehicle velocity is very high about uh, 20 or 25 mach number so this kind of shock wave formation will be happening okay uh, detached shock wave we'll call it as a bow shock wave this is detached from this body surface okay so to be very precise yeah okay so this will be detached we have a chapter 4 as a rally flow rally flow is nothing but your when you add heat to the flow what happens at the exit of this this, this is the nothing but we will be covering in the rally, uh, rally flow then we have a fan of flow Fano flow is saying that when you consider friction to it to the flow when you consider friction to the flow what happens to the flow properties at the exit that's what we'll be dealing with in Fano flow then we have some miscellaneous topic your relief uh, supersonic pitot formula then pitot tube in incompressible and compressible flow then supersonic wind tunnel and also we'll be seeing subsonic wind tunnel then show reflection interaction and flow visualization technique because one question they asked in 2021 so we can't skip this topic we have we must consider okay so i think i have discussed the what are the important topic we'll be covering so if you see broadly so broadly gas dynamics deals with so please guys uh, focus on this because this will form this will give the idea that why we need to study the gas dynamics and why it is in a, our uh, gate aerospace syllabus so gas dynamics is what so guys so gas dynamics when your flow speed is very high very high in the sense that your kinetic energy is very high when you go in incompressible flow this doesn't make sense uh, in a high speed flow because the kinetic energy is not that good or that high so our gas dynamics starts from when mach number is greater than 0 0.33 okay in a flow field so when you have a super uh, uh, sorry 
when you have a compressible flow because grit, uh, mag when greater than 0 0.33 we call it as a uh, compressible flow okay so when you have a compressible flow in a flow field so the flow feature will be happening uh, it will be having because okay so as of now let's consider okay so anyway when your mac number is greater than 0 0.33 what is happening in the flow feature flow, uh, what is happening in a let's say duct or or let's say the diverging duct what is happening in a converging duct or let's say your uh, mac number uh, 4 is encountering uh, mac number 0 0.4 is encountering with uh, some angled plate or wedge angle so what is happening to this case so we will be discussing all this thing or when this kind of airfoil you are having what is happening when mac number is uh, 0 0.5 let's say so this thing so compressible flow or gas dynamics deals with this this all important important thing when let's say mac number is greater than 1 so somehow you are you are having some ob obstacle kind of thing this kind of thing this is an obstacle okay so in this case when flow is approaching to the obstacle there will be formation of normal shock wave so what will happen across the normal shock wave to the pressure or uh, to the temperature or to the velocity or to the mach number or density so what will happen across the nor uh, normal shock wave what if let's say you have a, some wedge kind of thing and some supersonic flow is approaching to this so what will happen to this in this case so this case there will formation of oblique shock wave so across again uh, oblique shock wave uh, what is the flow feature again mach number your pressure your temperature your density your t naught your p naught again these quantities will be dealing with your stagnation temperature and pressure and uh, okay and again let's say you have a constant duct and flow is happening with a let's say subsonic or supersonic because uh, anyway anyway we'll be discussing let's say flow is happening at a supersonic speed so if you add heat to this uh, flow what will happening to these uh, exit again similarly you have fan of flow so uh, if you consider friction to it what will happen to the flow at the exit of duct that's what we have to discuss and at the end some flow feature again uh, some let's say you have a two uh, wedge angle okay and there is one more wedge angle and supersonic flow is happening i am greater than one similarly in this case i am greater than one what will happen let's say this kind of shock formation happens and here shock interaction is happening from different family so what will happen in this case we'll be discussing so again this is an interesting phenomena and let's say this kind of flow you are having uh, there is a ram and this is a constant area duct so again there will be uh, there will be shock wave formation your mac number should be supersonic there is shock wave formation this shock wave will uh, reflect from this this is the physical boundary or wall okay this shock wave will reflect like this so again this is station number one this is station number two this is station number three so our motive is what will happen or what is Mach number pressure and flow properties or flow feature at this station number three that's what we need to predict so if i give you the uh, uh, more application from more application point of view if you uh, if you have seen your uh, i think some supersonic aircraft if you see fighter jet you will see at the uh, at the front you will see this kind of uh, uh, nose you will see okay so and let's say uh, this is uh, let's say this is diffuser uh, supersonic intake okay this is supersonic intake generally this kind of intakes are designed okay okay so let's say these are a supersonic intake and your aircraft is flying with a, with a very high speed mach number let's say two now what will happen in this case there will be formation of shock wave again there will be formation of shock wave oblique shock wave similarly this pattern will go goes along okay so this kind of flow feature you will observe and uh, in your actual aircraft this will flow will go like this and at the end it will compressed your pressure will increase to the very high value that's what we want because if we want very high pressure so that we can do a good combustion okay. right so okay i hope it is clear and if you see some uh cd nozzle okay cd nozzle is we need to study this again so the nozzle says that uh, these are the these are the nozzle used in your rocket right rockets so this is what nozzle is used in your rocket so that you can have a very high uh, exit mach number so that you can propel in a very high speed okay then forward speed so where there will be again beautiful flow feature 
so we will be establishing that there will be formation of uh, you might have seen the some videos right in internet there will be this kind of okay physical uh, boundary pressure line the, you might have seen this kind of beautiful diamond uh, shape or diamond shape pattern there will be again again city nozzle okay let's wait please okay yes so there will be again uh when this phenomena happens when you have a pressure difference across the uh, atmosphere this is atmosphere and this is your exit nozzle exit so this kind of flow feature you will be observing so these are the oblique shock wave these are the expansion fan so these are the important phenomena will be happening in your actual real life so i hope uh, i try to motivate you so you got some motivation for this subject uh, gas dynamics so again i'll emphasize that uh, uh, please go through this syllabus kind of thing what are the important thing we need to cover and you can make according to your timetable and next lecture i'll be straight away starting with the uh, isentropic flow that is your first chapter okay again i'll be saying that this this subject you can't skip because this is covering this is having heavy weightage oh, this having a heavy weight weightage of 7 to 9 marks so i'll try to make sure that you get uh, 7 or 9 to 9 out of it okay and at the end you will be playing with the equations and questions of your gate exam okay i hope this is clear and understood and if have if you having uh, having any doubt or question or want to say something you can ask me or you can post a comment uh, in a comment section okay fine okay let's meet in the next lecture guys bye bye